Max Sterling. Welcome to Larpgasm. Today I'm going to show you how to make a penny stove or an alcohol stove for any sort of dystopian or post-apocalyptic or maybe even survival style LARP that you play. And it's very simple to make. You just need a few of these pop cans, maybe an ice pick and some scissors, and uh, we can go ahead and make one. It's pretty simple, but it's a very cool prop that I think will really add to your gameplay and enjoyment. Plus, if you pull this out when you're pretending to cook a meal or something, people are really going to dig the atmosphere. I hope that you'll appreciate this little project as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we got us some cans here and, uh, you know, something to poke a hole with. Uh, need some scissors. Okay, we got some scissors. All right. Now, <clears throat> pretty much, you want to pick a can you want to have as your base. And what we need to do is cut the bottom of the can off. So there's a lot of ways to do this. This is how I'm going to do it. Now we want to leave a little bit of space. Um, normally you want to make this as low profile as you can. I'm going to make this a little bit taller because we're going to add some lights in it so that it's LARP friendly and not actually the real deal. Now, if you watch some other videos on this subject, they're going to have some weird elaborate uh, razor blade contraption or laying a razor on some books and some stuff. But you know what? If you're out in some sort of post apocalyptic wasteland and you got sharp razors and books to lean them against and all kinds of stuff like that, well, you know, you very well may not need something like this. So. Here's is the first part. Now this top part we can pretty much just uh, set aside for now. And then we're gonna need a, another piece. Now I think I like this can better, so we're gonna go with this one. And then that's just gonna be the same deal here. And I mean, we're taking a distance, it's you know approximately an inch and a half, I would say, that we're working with here. And, you know, the real key is just to make sure that when you cut this, that it's a pretty straight line and it meets on the other side. So, we got two bottoms. Now, I think I like the way that says all the sugar and twice caffeine. So what we're gonna do is we'll leave that for the outside portion and we'll put the Rockstar one on the inside. So, I mean, pretty much this is what it looks like. I mean, that's basically it. But what we gotta do is put a hole in the middle of the top of this. Now you can put a hole in the middle of the top of this however you want to. Uh, you can drill it, you can just drill a couple little holes. You can use your ice pick to poke a couple little holes. Um, you know, whatever you wanna do. So you can drill this whole thing out. But for this project, we're gonna put just one hole right in the center here. And it's gonna be a pretty decent sized hole. And we'll go ahead and just sort of start that off my ice pick here. And we're just gonna do it right in the middle. And uh, just pretty much looks like that. Now you can make this whatever diameter you want. I think probably we're just gonna go with roughly the ice pick size. All right, so. This hole here is important because this is where you pour your fuel into. And then what you need is a bunch of little holes. Now, some people like to put the holes in the outside. I'm gonna put the holes all around here. Now, <clears throat> you can space them out and make it look real neat, or you can just sort of put them wherever you want them to go. I'm gonna sort of just punch them in, you know, every so often. And they just need to be small holes like this.
All right, so there you go. Now, if you don't have an ice pick, you can use a push pin or just pretty much anything sharp that's gonna make a circular hole. And there's our top. Now, you probably should have rinsed these out ahead of time. Uh, I did not, so they're gonna be a little bit sticky, but you know, uh, you should rinse them out if you're gonna make this a long-term prop. If you're gonna just sort of make these on the fly, then you know, you may have to rinse them every time. Now, if you're making this as a survival stove, then what you're gonna to wanna to do next is actually get some more of this can. Cause you need to make a little inner diameter for it. And you would measure this a little bit better than I am here, but basically cut this. Give yourself a little cut here. A little cut about halfway on this one, about halfway on that one, and then you can take and slide this together so that it makes a ring. And then you would set this ring down inside here. It needs to be a little bit smaller than the inner diameter. And then this actually gets slid down in here. Now that's if you're making a real one and you want to pour alcohol in here and have it look like the real McCoy or maybe even be the real McCoy. And then you would just pour the alcohol down in here, light it, put a penny over top of this and the flames will come out. You need something that's gonna fit inside of a pop can. This is the closest thing I could find around here. Um, I would have preferred for them to be amber or red. These are white, so you, you know we'll just have to see how they work. All right, and then what we're gonna do is because these are micro LEDs, is we'll have them basically right in line with these holes so it looks like it's lit. So if you can find this in red or something that represents fire better, I'd say go for it. If your LARP requires you to only have red lights, then, well, you better find yourself some red ones. But uh, in order to find one that has a battery pack that'll fit inside a can, you're gonna have to do a little bit of searching around. What we're gonna do now is we're just gonna use this little piece that we cut out and we're actually just gonna wrap these all around here. And then we'll tuck this little on off switch right up inside here. Now what you're gonna wanna do with that, like I said before, is we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it inside here. Now before we do that, we're gonna turn it on. And then we'll just tuck this right down inside of here, okay? Be careful not to cut yourself. I should have said that because a lot, there's a lot of sharp edges on here, so you do want to be careful when you're doing all of this because this can be sharp. And then basically we're just kind of crushing it down a little bit so it fits inside of this one, okay? And then we're gonna squish it down real nice like that, okay? If you want to, you can squash it down until you get to the bottom. If you measured this out a little bit better, it would probably line up a lot more even. But then I'm gonna take and just basically crush these little edges over here. And you can use a tool to assist you in that if you want to, or if you don't wanna accidentally cut yourself. We are just pushing this over here. And roll it on the 
edge of a table a little bit if you'd like. Okay, now a good pro tip would be to sand this down or dremel these edges to make sure that you know there's nothing sharp. But that's pretty much it. So this is your little alcohol stove. This is your little penny stove. And the reason why I call it a penny stove is because you put a penny over this hole right here. Let me see if I can find a penny. Now if you're going to use a penny, I suggest finding a uh, older one. This one here is from 1970, so that's a pretty old penny. And it just goes right on there, just like that. It covers your hole. Now, depending on how you build this, if you build this someplace where the on off switch is pretty easy to get to, you can glue this penny in place. You can use something else instead of a penny. You can use a little lid or something. It's just if you're using actual fire with this, you need a piece of metal to go over there and a penny is perfect for doing that. Now, depending on how you did this now to turn off the light, you just pull this back out or if you left the on off switch near the top, you can just reach in there with a screwdriver or some sort of implement and just turn it off. Uh, it's up to you. This is how I would build it, just to make it nice and simple. And of course, this is way too clean, so we definitely need to genre this up quite a bit. So let's go ahead and do that. Now this is supposed to be fire coming out of these holes. One thing about alcohol stoves is usually if you don't build them right, the alcohol won't burn clean, so it'll leave marks. So a pretty simple way to add a little bit of genre to this would be to get some burn marks right on each of these holes. And you can do this before you put the lights in there, whatever you want to do. You can paint it on or you can go for the real deal like I am. It's up to you. Let me go ahead and do this boring part here and show you the finished product. And with a little bit of sandpaper and effort, we're able to add some pretty cool effects to this, some aging uh, and some other distressing to it. We added the fire marks on there so it looks real good. Age the can. I like that the can's dented up. Other tutorials, they try to make it look real good, but I like that this can has seen some action. You know, maybe this is the only one uh, you were able to make because these are the only two cans you found. Now, obviously, a pro tip is if you go on the side of the road and you find some old cans that are already well aged and look like crap, then you're already most of the way there. I would strongly suggest using those cans because you know they're just going to give you a much better look. But if you have to use new stuff, age them up a little bit. If you can find a cool can that maybe goes with your character and has a cool saying or cool images towards the bottom of the can, then go with those. But this is pretty much what we got. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked this build. If you did, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, share the video, and let everyone that you know know about this channel. And please just share my videos and help get the word out about these cool projects because something like this is that one little bit of extra that other people aren't gonna have at the game. And you pull this out and they're immediately going to say, well, what is this little thing? Or people in the know, they're back, oh wow, he's got a penny stove, or she's got a penny stove. Uh, that's pretty cool. And then there you have it. So, alcohol stove, penny stove, whatever you want to call it, for your post-apocalyptic or survival LARP. As always, adventure on. Let's get some dinner. Hold it that fire nice. up these vittles yeah real nice mm-hmm stagosaurus -hmm.